Good day, 3E. Uh, we're going to start our discussion today um, on working and earning uh, with the topic of salary. Our goal is I know what a salary is and I can calculate how it is paid at various intervals through the year. Salary, let's, we first have to understand what salary is. Most people understand that salary is something you get paid, uh, but salary is a fixed regular payment from an employer to an employee. In other words, it doesn't matter how much you work, you're going to get the same amount for, that, for a certain period of time. Uh, salary is paid at a set interval and the amount is the same every time, but usually when we hear salary discussed it is stated as a yearly amount. So we hear what your yearly salary is, there's not necessarily any uh, uh, specific amount of time that you work, you don't get overtime if you uh, work over 40 hours a week, um, but if for some reason you don't work those 40 hours a week you don't get docked any kind of pay, it's definitely set. So here's some terminology we need to understand when talking about salaries. Salaries can be paid weekly and if you hear that someone gets a weekly salary that just means that they get paid uh, every week which means that it's 52 times per year. So they get a paycheck 52 times over the course of the year. Now bi-weekly means every two weeks and if you get paid every other week that means that you're going to have 26 paychecks per year. Now monthly I hope is pretty explanatory. You get paid every month. Which means that you only get 12 paychecks per year. And bi-monthly is an odd one. Bi-monthly can mean two different things. It can mean twice a month. Twice per month. Uh, which means that you get paid 24 times per year. Or it can mean that you get paid um, every other month. And if that's the case where you get paid one month and then the next month you don't get paid and then you get paid the month after that, it means that you're paid for two months at a time, uh, which means that you'll only get six paychecks per year. Now, that one won't happen very often because it would be very hard for someone to budge budget if they were only getting paid every other month. So it's not very often that you'll hear that someone gets paid bi-monthly. The vast majority of paychecks would be either weekly or bi-weekly um, or possibly um, bi-monthly. And notice that bi-weekly and bi-monthly are not quite the same thing. Bi-weekly is 26 times per year and bi-monthly is 24 times per year. So they're very close um, to being the same thing, but they're not exactly the same thing. Okay, so now let's do some calculations here. This says Jordan has a yearly salary of $32,500. What is his monthly paycheck? So this is extended over the whole year. We want to divide it up into 12 equal payments. That's what this monthly means. It means that he's going to have 12 equal payments. So if we're going to split that into 12 equal payments, we need to take 3200 or $32,500 and divide that by 12. And 32,500 divided by 12. Well, let's just pull up our calculator here. Uh, 32,500 divided by 12 equals uh, 20 to $2,708.33. So $2,708.33.
three cents is what his paycheck would be. Since this was asked as a question, we should answer it um, in words. Anytime it's asked in words and not just a number kind of question, we should answer it in words and say, therefore, his paycheck, whoops, therefore, his paycheck is twenty seven hundred dollars eight dollars and thirty three cents okay let's see what a couple other things here example number two Chris collects a weekly paycheck of three hundred and twenty four dollars what is his yearly salary okay so if this is what he gets every single week um, and we know that it's going over the whole year Weekly means that it's going to happen 52 times per year. So we say um, $324 times 52. So basically in these questions you're going to decide whether you have to multiply or divide by the numbers that we discussed up front. So 324 times 52, 324 times 52 is $16,848. Sixteen thousand eight hundred and forty eight dollars. And again, this was asked as a question, so we say, therefore, Chris makes sixteen thousand eight hundred and forty eight dollars per year. Now, example number three. Who has the better paying job? Nick earns $450 a month or Taylor who has a yearly salary of $6,700. So there's two ways that you could do this. You could turn Nick's salary, which is $450 in a month, into a year. Or you can take Taylor's salary and turn it into a month. You have to do one or the other um, because you need to get them both on the same um, in the same terms to be able to compare them. Uh, I like to multiply better than I like to divide. So I'm going to say we're going to look at Nick's salary and go $450 times 12 months in a year. So 450 times 12 is 5400. Um, which is not as good as what Taylor makes. So, uh, therefore, Taylor makes more money. And moving on to our very last question here. Let's see about Jared's job. Jared has a full-time job working 40 hours a week. His pay is $1,300 bi-monthly. Which definition of bi-monthly do you think this is? Twice a month or every other month? Well, let's take a look at these two things. Let's look at twice a month first. If he gets paid twice a month, $1,300, uh, he's going to make that 24 times a year because that's what twice a month was if you look back at what we discussed earlier. So 1300 times twice a month, which is 24, is 31,200. So 31,200. Or if it's every other month, he only gets six of those paychecks in a year. 1300 times six is going to be significantly less. 1300 times 6 is 7800. Now, how do we decide whether he's making 31200 or 7800? Well, I think it's going to come down to the fact that he works 40 hours a week. It's a full-time job. Uh, if he's making if he's working a full-time job and only making $7800 for the whole year, he's getting paid significantly less than minimum wage. 
Uh, in fact, if we take a look at um, a look at what that means, if he gets paid bi-monthly, um, if we were to divide that by the number of hours, it would be really small. So this, we can assume, since it's a full-time job, that this is what he's um, going to get. So therefore, since it is a full-time job, he likely earns that um, twice a month. And that's the end of this lesson.